It was, uh, it started with my, my father, he owned the business, um, but he was a smaller one-man band kind of company, um, just worked with four or five guys. Tried to do everything himself, as, as, you, as you do when you're doing businesses. Um, but uh, he got really poorly, um, you know, sort of passed away. The business at that time, there was no business, if, if you like, because it was just a name. But I was working for somebody else, because it's always difficult working with, with, with family. But um, it, it meant something to me to start the business back up and, and take his name on. Um, I was working for someone else. Like I said, you know, my, my son was just born at the time. He was really, really poorly. Um, so it was very difficult to try and juggle everything and, and working for someone else. So I literally started a business and, and from nothing. No, no, it took, uh, took a long time. It, it was a real struggle. Um, I would say it probably took us a good five years to get established into what I would call it as, as a proper company working for commercial companies. We were more a uh, one-man band working for private sector, private driveways, that sort of thing. And, and it took about five years for it to really, you know, before I was able to start working commercially for companies. Once we got in the commercial sector, it kind of just progressed, grew. Um, it's taken 20 years to build, to get to here, and it's still growing, still changing, and, you know, it's, it's still a struggle, you know. It's, we do packages for um, you know uh, companies where they'll have uh, a new Lidl's or a new Tesco's and that sort of thing. They'll they'll put the new highway alteration in, so it's called a two seven eight. So we'll do the two seven eight works as a package, so we can do the drainage, the groundworks, the curbing, um, and then we'll do all the tarmac with it. So it's it's packages really is is what we do. It's not expected in the industry for tarmac companies to do both the groundwork package and the surfacing. But I guess, um, you know, companies do do it because you have to diverse a little bit and, and, you know, try and take on the things that connect your company together as a package. So, um, but uh, yeah, no, we, we will, will take these packages on through council works that um, will come up as, a, you know, as a package. Surfacing is the tarmac. Civils is the groundworks package, the 278. It's the alteration work that we have to do. Um, you know, to enable us to then do the tarmacking works. Yep, it, it, we're now working for uh, like infrastructure work where you've got the new um, broadband uh, services going in. So we'll do all the trench works, put the uh, ducting work in for the um, you know cabling uh, companies so they can they can put it through, and then we do the reinstatement of all the trenches on top. Um, but quite often. A lot of the utility companies, they do their own trenching works and we'll go and do the reinstatement for the utility company. You'll see a, a, a gang of guys working through doing that exact uh, job that I said really, they'll be doing the infrastructure of the trenching um, and then we'll do all the backfilling and, and all for the broadband. Sherford is a, a fantastic new housing uh, estate going up, um, probably in the 20 years worth of, of work down there. Um, so we're so obviously we're going in for all the large groundwork companies, and we do all the the road uh, infrastructure as well as the driveways, the footways, uh, adopted works, private works. Um, so so we'll go down and do all the surfacing. Uh, so uh, Stoke Fleming will be um, it's the broadband uh, system, uh, broadband cable service that's going in. So our men are going to do all the trenching and the excavating uh, out for the uh, ducting works to go in. So that will be in private road as well as uh, in adopted road. So it, it will be going in right up through the main high streets and then off into the little private drives or the private roads uh, so that it can connect into the houses and, and then we do all the surfacing in the trenches afterwards. It, it is BT Open Reach, yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. We, we work for a lot of, uh, you know, not just BT Open Reach. Um, you know, it, like I said, we, we do Lidl's, we do Audi, we do Tesco's, we do Sainsbury's, Morrison's. All those big companies, um, not always direct, sometimes indirect, but um, yeah, large companies like that. Uh, home builders, yeah, we work for uh, masses of uh, different types of home builders. You, you've got your um, sort of people that, you know, big developers, but you'll also have, uh, you know, small developers that do one or two plots, um, or you've got uh, like Sherford's, which is probably thousands of plots. Uh, good question, actually. I'd, I'd like to think you would be proud. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I, th I think... Um, I think he'd be a little bit uh, disappointed he wasn't around to be 
here with us, but uh, I think he'd be very proud of you. Uh, well, I, we're, we're always going to be Devon Tarmasters because my heart is in Devon anyway. Um, where I see myself in 10 years, I, I'd like to say we, we'll still be here servicing, you know, the, the whole of Devon and Cornwall. And, and, you know, but, but I know the name Devon Tarmasters is everybody associates it with just Devon. But actually, you know, we get people to take us to Scotland, um, you know, uh, Cumbria. We, we, go, we go all over the place. We, we go Dorset, Portsmouth. Because companies come down and they work here in Devon, they find us, we do the work to them, and they always ask us where we travel. So we travel anywhere. As long as we can get material prices, at, you know, in, in their area and the right price, then we win the jobs. Yeah, you can't miss it, can you? I mean, the amount of people that say to me, oh, I've seen your place. So, yeah, I've drove past that. You know, they never miss it. No, the, the, there's, I don't think there's any really that you can see as you drive past. You know, they're, they're not there.